games here on Wild Card Sunday as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Now the second of three games here on this Sunday, we continue with Super Wild Card Weekend here on EA Sports. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get... They'll send a receiver here in motion right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. Not on this one. And they need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. yard rusher in an eagle uniform it's miles sanders well, this will be a short game of three before he's brought down at the 22. just not a whole lot of room to there on that carry not a lot of room they did a really nice job standing in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up a tough spot here on their opening drive this is third and seven young Flushed out right. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Rodgers on the return. Nearly a huge return, as it is still a very good one. 24 yards. And the Eagles will have great starting field position here as they take over. First and ten, it's Swift. Down the left sideline. Touchdown! DeAndre Swift, 45 yards. And the Eagles will strike first here in this wild card matchup. Well, we knew they had the crowd on their side. Their defense has already made a stop, but now here's an opening drive touchdown. Yeah, how about the defense making the stop? Offense feeling their momentum that they generated. They're turning into points on that side. So now you've got a team working together, and you've got the crowd involved fully on their side in this game. And in this playoff atmosphere, that 12th man means even more. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. 
And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs. Because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Blitz coming and down he goes. Nicobe Dean. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Young on third down. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He's still to the 25. Two yards on the pick up there. And that's going to make it fourth down. What we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost start in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go and make the tackle right away. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Rodgers to return it. Following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Here's a handoff to Swift running left. 52 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Good running right there. And this is a man who's a 1,000-yard rusher in the regular season, so you know he's going to get his chances. And he picks up nice yardage on that one. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down and three. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. The defense was ready for the run pass option, diagnosed it perfectly. Not only did they stack him up at the point of attack, but he was met by a host of light-colored jerseys. Here is third and five. Play action. Here's Hurts. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have an Eagles first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Swift going to try up the middle. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. Then everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. From the 35, here's second and nine. From the gun, here's Swift. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Throwing his hurts. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. Did he get the feet down? Yes! Touchdown! Devontae Smith from 21 yards away. And the Eagles have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Elliott good with a PAT. And it's now 14 -0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. 
And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. They've been a come-from-behind team all year. They'll need to do it again as they trail early in this wild card game. Young looks to throw on first down. And this is going to be intercepted. Keely Now he's hit on the return. It's a loose football. And it looks like one of the DBs has it. And the Eagles are going to get possession of the football. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. 63-63-63. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Once again, it's Swift. Almost gets to the 10. 74 yards rushing for him in this first half as he has certainly carried over his regular season success into the playoffs. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll run right here with Swift. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Here's second and two now from the three. A handoff, Swift running to the left. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown. DeAndre Swift with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Elliott Good on the extra point. It's now 21 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The returner, DJ Chark. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Young. 
Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byer. Well, so it depends on this defensive group has figured this guy out to the tune of a big lead in this one. And you know that he's frustrated with how this game has gone. And now with back-to-back -back interceptions, he's got to find a way to get out of his own head and start making better plays. They run out of the gun with Swift. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Second and ten. Here's a handoff to Swift. And he'll take it into the end zone. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and ten. Hey, pull Peter. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. Now a second down throw for Young. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. And that following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. And they are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Oh, Young loses it. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. So holding on the offense, they go ahead and decline the penalty, and the ball will change hands on the fumble recovery. On the handoff, this is Swift. And a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second and a couple. Now a give, right side Swift. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. It's so close, he gets it to the run. Out of bounds right there. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. Yeah. 
A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Swift. He is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Well, that play's not going to go in their highlight reel at the end of the season, but the only benefit to the offense, maybe a little more space if they want to throw the football now after taking that loss. From back at the four, here's second and goal. One more time with Swift. And he's in. Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift on his way to a historic performance. Four first half touchdowns. And the Eagles open the lead up to 34 0. Elliott Good on the extra point. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Chark set to return it, taking it about the one. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and ten. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. Young is intercepted for the third time this game. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Elliott now to have the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here. But with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I'm going to quote an old Smokey and the Bandit lyric. They've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. But they still have time to get it done. So I'm looking forward to watching them map this drive and see if they can get some points out of it. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half scores just like this one. And he cannot get away and Young will go down. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. One of these two teams about to play their final half of the season as we're back at it in this NFC wildcard bout. Bringing it out of his end zone, Isaiah Rodgers. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. They're on 
Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work the run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But if they run it more effectively, it may get even bigger plays in the passing game. Second down and eight. Now it's Swift. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. 126 yards rushing for him now as he has been a central figure in trying to get his guys to the second round. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. They go play action with Hurts. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. This is caught at the 20. He's going to have the first down and then some. Hardman, 79 yards. And the Eagles are pouring it on. Elliott on for the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Not enough there for a first. No gain as a matter of fact. He's up at third and one. Well, that's one stuff. You see if this defense has another in the back pocket. I just wonder on the other side of the ball. Do you just challenge the big guys up front? This is short yardage situation. We ought to be able to pick this up. Or do you say to yourself, they are awfully tough. I've got to throw it on this down. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now, three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll try to throw now. Young. The throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Third quarter, wild card round. Thanks for being along for the playoff ride with us. Here's second and ten. Now Young. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Jill Carter. Coming right off the gut. Gets him there for a loss of nine. So a little bit easy analysis about why they struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. And he managed to take this thing to the 38. Well shy of the first down. Young to throw on fourth. 
And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Kevin Byer. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Elliott now to have the extra point. And the lead grows even larger in the third quarter. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. And they just get the playoff. Now Young. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. Off the mark. And obviously with that and all the interceptions, things just haven't been true to form for you. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question. And my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you, no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Meanwhile, Young's throw taken in by Chark. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And now here's a carry heading left. And some pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. One quarter remains in this NFC wild card matchup. Position. They'll run here with Swift. 
And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. He'll drop this one off to Swift. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Well, they have been unstoppable this afternoon, Charles. They just went after them from the start. And pass plays like we just saw, they're continuing their dominance here despite the big lead in the fourth quarter. And that they have in every way. And plays like that across all phases of the game, they've just been effortless for them in this one. And that's what's helped them build such a large lead and allowed them to smile as this game continues. 140 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. And in a situation like this, you're in the second half with the lead, trying to get to the division round. They're going to let him do his thing on the ground, and that's a great run there to pick up a first down. First down, and they go with Swift again. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else, and now it's third and ten. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Here's Hurts to throw. Open man has got it, the tight end. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. They'll try it now with Swift. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the ten. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and ten. Here's Swift. Oh, a good move at the five. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five about the four. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with the lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that, plus three. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one-yard line. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. This just a 24-yard attempt. Break that kid. Break that kid. 
The kick by Ariel is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get... And oh, my goodness. Here's a fifth interception. Darius Slay with a pick. And did he get in? No. They'll mark him down at the one-yard line. Well, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the scoreboard just lopsided, and it's been ugly from the get-go. And they'll indeed take a knee. start but a good start a terrific start because they get to move on 